Hello friends, welcome to this brand new series on Google Cloud Platform. In this series, we will understand the basics and fundamentals of Google Cloud Platform and various products and services provided by this popular platform. In this video, we will understand what are Google Cloud Platform resources and infrastructure for any cloud platform, its resources, its infrastructure founds the building blocks on top of which any cloud platform runs. At the end of the video, we'll go to my laptop, we'll see a live demo and a blueprint of how a data center looks and satellite image through which we can understand how this whole global network of Google Cloud Platform works together. So let's start. Google Cloud Platform divides its resources into three main categories, which is global, regional, and zonal. Whereas global is kind of a parent set under which falls regional and within a regional resource fall, falls a zonal resource. So consider this as a world map. And then in this world map, if you consider this in as different regions, so this can be US, this can be Europe, this can be Asia, within this whole US region, you can have multiple regions like region one, region two, region three. Every region within that particular country is actually a data center. So what is a data center? I think you are already aware. Data center is a physical area wherein you install your infrastructure, where you install your uh, hardware devices, which gives all the capabilities which is required by any cloud platform. So suppose in US, we have three different regions, R1, R2 and R3. And within that particular region, we have multiple zones. So every region, especially in case of GCP, would have three or more regions. So in today's world, if, you, if I have to give you exact count, Google has 20 regions installed across, uh, uh, across the globe in different parts of the world. And these 20 regions are nothing but 20 data centers. And within that data center or within that region, we have multiple zones. And every resource which you use, which you utilize, maybe at the front end or which runs at the back end, falls under either a global resource or a regional resource or a zonal resource. So suppose this as a world map, the overall network which connects these different uh, services and these different regions can be a global resource. So if these networks can be considered, this can be a global resource because these networks which runs across the globe provides that connectivity. So obviously it has to be global in nature. Coming to a regional resource, what can be a regional resource? So regional resource can be a sub network. What is a sub network in a very layman term? sub network is a subset of your global network so if your global network comes and tries to connect to your regional resources what it will do it will divide that particular network into multiple sub networks and provide that connectivity so it breaks down your parent network into multiple child networks so a subnet is a, a regional resource so then coming on to a zonal resource i already told you that a zonal resource is installed within that particular region which is actually a data center so it can be a disk it can be a virtual machine so if we have to understand a particular region how it is installed we can actually go and visit the data center so suppose if we see this particular region consider this as a region us west 2 suppose this is the region and this is actually a region in gcp this particular region is actually installed as a data center in los angeles california and within this particular data center, we will have multiple zones. So if you go by the color coding, I have denoted a region uh, as blue. So if you connect that into this particular diagram, now you understand that one particular region and these blocks, these zones, what you see here are actually physical zones within that particular data center. So this data center is actually a region as well. And what happens within this particular zone, you have different racks. In, the, in these racks, you have different uh, CPUs, different hardware installed within these racks. And then there are many different components. These windmills are for power generation. So there can be multiple such components, which we'll see in a short while when we'll see the live demo on my laptop. But these zones, are interconnected and with falls within a data center but one basic question arises that why there is so much layering and why we have to divide our resources in so many categories 
it is to provide resilience it is to provide a good solution which is uh, error proof which is which is not prone to any failures and we can you know very quickly bring back our environment in case of any massive failure so suppose if you deploy everything in this particular zone and if this zone goes down then it would be a problem so what google suggests is you distribute your environment you pro you make your solution in a way where you can have failover so you can have some components lying here you can have multi zonal environment you can have multi regional environment so that you have that resilience so just to summarize the resources falls under three major categories and these categories are global regional and zonal and a regional uh, a region within that particular framework is actually a data center so now we will go to my laptop and we will see a live demo of a data center blueprint of google and also a global satellite view of how these resources and these infrastructure talks to each other so let's go so guys uh now we'll quickly see how this uh, fiber network global fiber network connects this google cloud platform and its different resources across the globe and uh, this is very very interesting way to understand this because google provides you some satellite images of how these uh, resources are deployed across the globe so let's start we have to click on this uh, play button and then it will take us into further details so as you can see in this globe, you can see different regions or different data centers, as I said before, installed across the globe, across the globe. And these numbers which you see are actually those zones. So as I, as I said, as I explained before, every region or every data center has three or more zones in case of Google Cloud Platform. So as you can see, Google has tried distributing all its data centers or regions across the globe and then it provides massive connectivity so if we zoom further all this movement which you see right now is the data packets and the network uh, flow which is happening across the globe and this is how google connects all the dots and provides a very very efficient network which can provide you 99.99 um, percent availability 24 cross 7 so now quickly we will go and explore how a google data center looks like so we explored this now we'll go and see how a actual data center so either of these data center looks like so we click on explore google data center option and see how beautifully they have explained this see these are different components as I showed in my video as well, these are the windmills and if you click on any particular section, it will give you the functionality of that. So if I click on windmill, while we don't operate our own wind farms, we do buy enough wind and solar electricity. So basically they denote that they have the mechanism to generate electricity, the natural way of uh, electricity because Google wants to decrease the carbon footprint uh, and they are very, very serious about it. But what you see here, these three major blocks within this data center are actually the zones. And these zones are zone one, zone two, zone three. As I said, any data center has three or more zones. So if we sneak peek into this particular zone, if we look into this particular zone, we can see all the different racks which I was explaining and all different water pipes. So what, what a water pipe does, it helps cool down the system. Then there is a cooling plant as well. This, this is very very uh, detailed and uh, it is something which is not apt for this particular video which is a foundational video but as you can see that uh, you know these these are all cooling mechanisms because these racks and these CPU uh, and the hardware generates a lot of heat so every data center has a very efficient cooling mechanism this is a very very high level view of a blueprint of a data center but it gives you an idea of how it is deployed so you you can take it as a data center deployed in uh, los angeles california as i told you in us uh, region so this can be one particular region where you have the data center and all these different zones are deployed within this particular data center so guys i hope you liked this uh, dem demo of a data center and uh, i hope 
that you continue watching this series in future we will bring more such interesting content from google cloud platform and hope you would continue to support us thank you so much bye